Hi, right, welcome back to my life with plants and Newman. <coughs> we have some replacement plants here. Well, not here. These are actually for mounts. There it is. There it is. Right. Now, in uh, Japan, we don't have bag babies. But what we do is we have orchid suppliers that have that sell cuttings of really large cat ears that they have in their collection and they sell them for pretty cheap. You just gotta mount them do whatever you can. And I'll tell you what's great about this grower, is they gave me a bonus plant pretty neat. So these are catlias. Let me just move that um, plant over there for you. Okay, so a lot of you just, if you live in places like Florida and that, of course you buy your catlias in flower, big, full, grown orchids over here in Japan. Um, your local nurseries, depending on where you go, not all of them, but some of them, do have supplies of beautiful catlias. Uh, not in my area, although I did find two for about $16, and they were in flower. They were lovely things, but uh, didn't have any cash on me. Then put cash there. So these are cuttings. So I'd like to see this uh, actual greenhouse or business, they must have some pretty massive cattle ears and they just let them grow and these are the parts that have trailed out of the pot or crapped out. So one is an orange, one's a yellow. Not sure about the third one. Let's have a look. Now that is even better than I thought. Look at that. I mean that's healthy. Compared to the thing I got in the garden, they got the rots. But that was my fault. What I did is, um, I've been going against the grain, trying to grow catlias in pots. And my district is kind of similar to Florida in the summer. Pots are a no go. Um, if you do, it should be very shallow, have a lot of it should be a, a slatted but plastic basket or better yet something like this believe it or not I'm not even going to put any medium in here oh I'm just going to put it in strap it in there that's it that's all we need we got high humidity here in the winter low and get pretty cold so that is very healthy, very healthy, I'm super happy, and I don't know what it is, <clears throat> it's going to be a surprise, I don't mind surprises, but uh, it's going to be a yellow or an orange, right, and I'm happy to get any Cattleya at this moment. I do have two that is still doing well. One's Young Men Gold. It's still in a pot, but I don't really want it in there. I don't want to disturb it. And another one is, um, has a pure yellow flower. It's a mini. That one's doing phenomenally well. It's been growing really, really well. It's in a very shallow plastic pot. Very shallow, and it's almost all pumice. Next one. So all up, these two catlias that I bought were uh, fifteen dollars for both of them. And I got a bonus. I mean, this is if this is another catlia, then I'm pretty amazed. I mean, getting a present like that. Right? Good. And next one. It's absolutely healthy. Wonderful. Wonderful.
So these are plants that have overrun the pot. Um, I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to try to do very much to, to make them stimulate them to grow. Although this one does have a uh, an eye right there. I'll just leave them alone from now. Let them get shrivelly, water them sparingly. These are not going to go in any medium. I learnt my lesson big time. I just took out a... Uh, not long ago I unpotted a Rincon, Rincon stylus, Gigantia. And that thing heated, being in a pot, heated it. But the good thing is, is that it has a new root starting. So right on time, I mounted it. I used zip ties. So it's going to be a nice, happy orchid and grow well for me. Another one that I have, Rincon Stylus Gigantia, is actually in the house. I grew it in my house. And it is in sphagnum, but I water it when it only absolutely dry. I'll water it only then. And that one's doing fantastic, but I wouldn't have it in the garden in sphagnum, I don't think. I would just put it bare rooted into a terracotta pot. The plan is not to repot. That's <coughs> why I'm mounting things and that's why I'm gonna put one in a basket because I don't want to repot. Repotting is just Hurts the plant so bad. And when it comes walking out of the pot, and then will I take cuttings? So this one, one of them is the bonus, and it was holy cow. How generous is this guy? Look at that. These are like bag babies. Look at that. What a nice thing. I'm really happy to get Catlias. This time I'm not gonna screw it up with my bad culture. But I'd just like to say I have got one growing really well in a in a pot. And once again, it is in pumice, so... This is nice. I've never had... Um, a bonus plant. It's so large. Ever. These are healthy, like the leaves are still nice and healthy there. I know that these roots will probably do nothing when you mount them. You don't need to worry about these at all. In actual fact, um, you can cut them all off. But I don't want to, and uh, the reason for that is I just don't want to increase my chances of causing a virus that attacks the plant and then makes it start rotting. So I just want to minimize that by not cutting off roots because they can be a bit sensitive but um, otherwise it's got this nice new growth here wow look at that huh very happy and I'm going to get to work mounting and I do have another basket I'm not going to put anything in here, it's just going to go straight in. Should look neat in there, huh? Well, not that one, a much larger one actually. Should look good in here, but it's a slightly taller one. That one's a more stocky plant. There. Zip tie it in there and let it go for it. 
Yep. And then um, if I'm going to hang it outside, it's easy to put some hooks through it. You might be wondering, well, no medium whatsoever. That's right, no medium. Not doing it anymore. Nope. See this? It's a piece of wood off uh, Japanese um, maple. Um, it had got attacked with rot, but this particular piece that was cut off was not rotten, and um, this one's going to melt, melt bare rooted onto here. No sphagnum, no, 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 no. Just mount it straight on. I'm not sure what was used over here to treat the wood, so I'm going to put it on this side. <clears throat> and I did buy some brass hooks that I can screw straight into the wood. What's good about the grass brass hooks is I can screw it straight into there and they can hang balanced. Yeah, I'm going to get on with that. I think this one would be the yellow, if I'm not mistaken, because I remember it was a much stockier plant. You can see that I'm peeling off these sheaths, these old things, but uh, you don't have to. In actual fact, when you have a new growth, do not peel the sheaths off it until it's completely um, hardened off. And if you're not sure, just leave it, okay? You can make a mistake. You pull these sheaths off and it's not fully developed and the whole stem will fall over, collapse. It's got a nice new growth there, see? So, that's great. Thanks for watching. My life with plants. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.